Hello everybody, welcome to a new video with Mr. Olson. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're old, hit that like button. We're gonna talk about 7ER and the Tech 3 plans, but first we're gonna play the boss fight to Diamond in Sugar Ship. I have wanted this for a long time now, so hope to get it here for you, my followers. Let's see then, we have a win streak, so this is the boss fight. And here we're playing with five rifles, three diddles. He starts at 47. It's usually faster to go from right, I think, but I, I usually go from left because it's safer. So let's see. I, I also have some goals for the channel now. The last video yesterday it went really good so we just continue with the daily videos and for midsummer is my goal it's the 23rd june my goal is to reach 1500 and for christmas this year my goal is to reach 2000 subscribers so i think that's a realized goal so we're going for that let's see now so 45 seconds before he started And we have the shock bomb on this account, so that's why we not R6 ER yet. And yeah, it seems like this guy doing pretty good actually. Not so many has taken down my base, but yeah. It seems like this guy do. And then Yeah, it's a 220 we need them. That's a really bad, a really good time actually. Yeah, no diamond today either, so we, yeah, we're saving a new try for tomorrow then. That was a poor attack here, striker, well played striker. You crushed my dreams about diamond, and yeah, you also went left, but you're having the laces, yeah, they were the difference. Yeah, almost a fizzle. I mean, like you see here, the last attacks here, I won this, this one fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. He actually took me down and won with six seconds. Then fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. Very poor time, my fizzle. So yeah, that was a little bit unlucky. We're going over to the other account talking about 7ER. Welcome to my other account. And here we are at 22 now we are not that high longer in the leaderboards around top 200 maybe yeah 159 in sweden we are still number two flame shout out to flame he doing really great this season take three wise we are here we could pick up mortar we could pick up gambit energy we could pick up shock mines we can go for shock bomb but i feel that we're going for seven instead so in two chests i would go seven seven will not be a push point but friday evening we're gonna grab gumboat energy and true health and saturday night i plan to do a stream with building health and troop damage and we take a look about someone that have went seven 
it's Alex Shu. First we're having Knight Warda. Where is Knight Warda? I don't know. I think he dropped a little bit, but he's around here. Here he is. So you see here, this is a type of 7 you can build, I don't know. Maybe that is the base I will build when I go 7. But you can, like you see, it's very very open. So you can attack it from all sides. So you can split drop 4, four heavy shot bombardier and yeah. The base will go down pretty fast. We also have Alex Shu that doing a lot better, but he has the troop damage, so that's the difference. He's almost 25, I think. He could be 25 now. He was 24.90 before. Where is Alex Shu? I probably missed him here. Yeah, here he is. 24.96. And he using this base. Take a look at the stat news. He has still not 100% building health, so that's that's really good news. I don't know how he attack, but if he can go almost 25 without that building health, he has the troop damage, and in the next chest he will have the building health also. And if he reach legendary, he's re of course he's a really good player. But if he reach legendary with that building health, I think that's the right way to go. Because yeah, this base seems pretty easy. So I, I I probably will test both of those, see which suits me best. Because if you're taking a look at my log here, we're having one love here, we're having crap time here. Falcor, he reached 23 yesterday, congratulations. El Guapo, I mean it's, it's up and down, up and down. Here we have, and I usually, here I, I, I forget to attack. I, um, I, uh, it was actually a flying thing that fly into the room and yeah, I just focused on that so the game come in second. And then uh, yeah, pretty boring times here and I'm now going over to three heavy shopper, four, no, three heavy shopper and five a rocket uh, rocket launcher rocket chopper heavy chopper rocket chopper uh, three five and uh, it's okay but it's probably faster with uh, four four with uh, heavy chopper bomber and the brick bad order but you having those flanking rocket launcher that is a pain so yeah I think. Heavy Chopper Rocket Chopper is the way to go when you're having that 7 later and the troop damage because then it's probably being safer and better. Also good thing is that you're getting more GBE after 7 and that's really really nice. So every node after 7 is really good. GBE, troop health, troop damage, building health. It's like Christmas every unlock. So yeah, you can't be bad about going seven and we will go seven on some point anyway so just stay in six yard push and yeah i don't have the mostly time the coming days also i probably taking a little bit of pause time now until saturday trying to get my other accounts up in diamond but yeah this season is not fun at all to play at free accounts because it takes so much time to just get the ERs and on one account I still don't have the troop damage and it's it's not, not fun. So yeah, this is probably one of the hardest season, maybe the hardest one that we have played and uh, yeah. It seems like it, the seasons has been harder now uh, the last seasons because it wasn't like this before. And here we have an open base, I don't know about this one. If, Heavy shopper is a thing on this one, but we can try it out at least. So uh, yeah, we're going like one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I also like Kavan to get some more heavies out on the on the the ship here.
We are flaring here to get a better spot for the heavy shopper to walk before here to the boom cannon that stands here. Of course, we get the down shot anyway. And we have maxed barrage now. That is good. To take down the sky shield. So when you have a more troop health and troop damage, you maybe could play with two heavy chopper and six rocket chopper. The bad part is that we don't have shock bomb, so we can't just uh, flare now. So that's that's not the best thing here. But we're playing it slow and steady. Yeah, and it, this is what I usually get around 145, 150. Not the best time, I know, but uh, we still get the win against this guy here. Yeah, we, we could play one more just for the fun here. Get a quick game this time, it was good. And this is the general beach base. It's the most bases we meet and yeah we're doing the same here one two three one two three four five So you lose usually one heavy shot by the start, but it doesn't matter because it drops down a lot of heavies, and that's good. Actually flare up here because I don't want have the, the flanking rocket launcher and the flanking rocket uh, rocket launcher. This is pretty good that they go up here because then we can stay on this path and maybe shut down the left one instead. But yeah, it will take a lot of time to take down this with one heavy shot, that's for sure. Maybe we fly up there to the top and yeah. So we bought in this one. One, two, three, four, five, four, six. Then we fly up here. Yeah, it takes some time to fly. Yeah, if just some more have gone up to the right here, we could have been around two minutes. But now, yeah, like you, I said, we're getting these times again here. 145, 144. Let's see. Requiem of Soul, Johnny Das coming in here. Will he beat me? It would be pretty close, but if he has that shock bomb, maybe. 144 was my time, right? I think I will win actually. If you don't have a lot of birds left. No, he lost some heavy rocket chopper on the way here. GG, Johnny does, and he also has a YouTube channel. He was two subscribers left for 500 yesterday, so subscribe to that if you 
could help him. Yeah, that was everything for today. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Or not from Mr. O. Take care.